All right, well, it is meant to protect against future big storms, but beach lovers at Long Island's Long Beach say the solution to rebuilding a jetty literally stinks. TV 1055's Richard Rose says the Army Corps of Engineers is promising to quickly complete the smelly restoration project. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is rebuilding this jetty off Arizona Boulevard in West Long Beach. It was eroded by Superstorm Sandy nearly five years ago. And now the cranes and bulldozers are busy replacing worn out and fractured rocks on the jetty with new ones. But neighbors and beachgoers say it comes with some nasty summertime side effects. Well, it's noisy for one. The beach is closed. The poor people on Oregon have to no beach until August. Um, it stinks. This flies all over. The heavy construction has caused beach closures just as the summer season has arrived. Why not start this in the fall after the summer season last year, go through the winter and the early spring instead of disrupting the summer here? The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers acknowledges it's received complaints. The Army Corps says the problem occurs every time they dig up rocks like this that were crumbling in the old jetty. They also dig up these mussel shells, which give off a very strong smell, especially in summertime heat. In a statement, the Army Corps says it's aware of the problem and is seeking to minimize the disturbance as much as possible. Some residents are philosophical about the heavy construction since they know it's needed to protect against future storms. It's good for the town, but it's inconvenient because I have to walk further to the beach. Jim Smith lives right next to the beachside construction and is totally fine with it. They're building us a beautiful jetty and they're improving my quality of life. And if I have to smell barnacles for a little while, that's the way it is. And will be for a while, since the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says this construction will last into next summer. In Long Beach, Richard Rose, TV 1055. Well, the project is part of a $100 million federal initiative to repair Superstorm Sandy damage from Long Beach to Point Lookout.